Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Xenosaga Episode 3, Thus Spoke Zarathustra, is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. I have high hopes. Maybe. I mean, ep Episode 1 had performance issues in the cutscenes. When I first tested it, it might have changed by now. The second one had issues with the gameplay, sometimes, but the cutscenes were fine. Maybe this will be a nice mix of both. Where it's perfect. Who knows? There we go, Xenosaga Episode 3 also sprucked, or spruck Zarathustra. Which I'm pretty sure is just thus spoke. I think it actually might also be Zarathustra Speaks, but honestly I'm not sure. It's all over the spot. Uh, no. That'll do. Oh, right. Finish settings. Yes. There we go, we did it. And I'll let the uh, cutscene play out. Just to see if it gives us any issues. Hmm. Well, you might notice that there's a line <laughs> across the screen. It's only a black line, though. But, okay. There was no dips. The only thing that there was was the black box on the lower half of the screen. Doesn't seem to persist in gameplay. That's a good sign. That's also a cutscene. Also a cutscene. <laughs> well, is this it, Miyuki? That's Shion? Oh my god, she looks a bit different. Confirming coordinates. Yep, perfect. I can skip this too. Oh, you can skip everything. I can't skip this. Way up. Oh nice, I can just hold down X and it skips everything. Okay. I just find it weird how Xion looks a lot different. Hmm. We also have the guy from Zunasaga Episode 2. Oh, it recovers my HP and EP. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Press square. Yep. It's just like the second game. Destroy everything! Oh, I was supposed to do that. Alright, oh, nice. The so far. Looks good. I mean it has the same thing where it has to Oh it has um what is it? A bit of a stutter or a dip whenever you load into a new area. Not really a big deal though. Oh. How would I do that? Wait a minute. Oh, do I have to come back? Because I messed it up. Unless I can interact with this. Can I interact with this? Oops, wrong button. <laughs> ah, god. Jeez. Yeah, I did see there was the spinning disc on top. I'm wondering if um, there's something you have to do. She did mention something being too high. Oh, uh, oh, I'm just an idiot. Wow. I thought I had to do something special, but no. It was that simple. I do want to get to combat. I know, I, I'm like a broken bloody record with these games. Or with these tests. I'm just, combat, combat, combat. 
But it's a good test. You have test in gameplay, which is this. And then having test in RPG specifically for combat is just a good thing. It's only because I had a bad experience with some games. Yeah, where the gameplay's been perfectly fine, but it falls apart in combat. <laughs> for some reason. It doesn't really make sense, but emulation never really does. According to Miyuki, I need to do something. Oh, green, red, blue, yellow, white. Oh. So we go green, red, blue, and yellow. Pretty cool puzzle. Oh, there we go. Aha! Not too shabby. Move? Yeah, yeah. There we go. They have guard systems. Good. Where is the guard? There's the guard. Hopefully I don't have to avoid it. No time for being a coward. Exactly. Getting a contact. Kaboom! Oh, Shion actually has the same stuff, I think. Was that Miyuki in the middle? So we have Kanan. It is Miyuki. Miyuki has the orange one now. Interesting. That's what Shion used in the first game. <laughs> Oh yeah. Honestly, everything about this one seems a lot better than the previous. The previous two games. Performance-wise, it seems a lot better, a lot more stable. The only issue is the uh, cutscenes have the black box in them, but aside from that, everything's fine, seemingly. So I would have to say that Xenosaga Episode 3, Thus Spoke Zarathustra, is playable with minor issues. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.